Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and today I have the Meldway Grand to review from Melda Productions. It's a deep sampled grand piano, um, multiple mics, multiple mic positions, very reasonably priced. I had some challenges with some aspects of it. We'll talk about those. But my question about a piano is, is it fun to play? Is it evocative for me? I'm a pianist. Can I play this instrument? Let's find out. If you manage to install the Meldway Grand, this is what it looks like. And when I say this, it's it's a, I'm going to say this is a qualified positive review because um, the M Sound Factory instrument playback engine from Melda is clearly ported from PCs, and I'm running it on a Mac. And what that means is there are a number of directory and just installation hoops to jump through, which are were, I'm, I'm going to say unfamiliar to me, but irritating to me. And it really literally took me kind of a few passes at this to get the 40 gigabyte uh, sample library downloaded, to get the basic factory data downloaded and installed and uh, get it to sort of be seen by the player. And uh, I guess if I hadn't had previous experience doing this, I might have been frustrated and thrown in a towel. I just may be an idiot. And like I said, I'm on the uh, the Mac operating system. So if you're a PC user, uh, everything may be just very ordinary for you. Well, when you start the M Sound Factory uh, playback engine, you've got a number of instrument choices. And under the piano category, if you've installed the Meldway Grand, you can select it and this is what you get. This initial screen, and we could look at, there you see what I mean, right? We can look at any number of other things as well. Um, starts with a simple, classic, sort of two large diaphragm mic setup. What does it sound like? I think it sounds pretty darn good. When I'm playing a piano for the first time, I'm listening for a number of things. And um, first of all, there's a question of repetition and dynamics. Now, I really like what I'm hearing there from a soft to a loud sound, and each note sounds pretty good to me. I went into the the basic playback, and I change the setup. I change the velocity response because I have a pretty heavy hand, and I wanted a little more dynamics. I set the noises, the piano uh, pedal, the action noise, to my taste. I took the tone down a bit, and I turned the reverb off. The reverb on this player, not so good. We're not hearing any reverb at all. We are using the resonance, however, and that's interesting to me because I actually think it does help some. I mean, this is pretty close to a, a, what I hope to hear out of a two microphone setup on a piano. I hear some disappointing qualities in the upper register. And it's hard to put my finger on it exactly. It's something to do with the way it, it feels when I'm actually playing. But the bottom is terrific. Honestly, I think this was probably a great piano that they sampled. Now, one of the things that makes for a useful sampled uh, piano is multiple microphone setups. 
Here we see the green illuminated, um, I guess they're supposed to be AKGs. Um, but check out um, this beautiful uh, browner setup now. This is a much wider spacing and a suitable for sort of maybe a classical sound. I don't know, you tell me. Again, in the upper register, it's just the tiniest bit too sensitive. Now, I'm, I'm monitoring through small speakers, not my big ones, but I'm a little disappointed with the way the top sounds to me. Okay. Um, the, you know, a head microphone effect is great. I really actually love the sound of this. So let's do something uh, uh, side. I think some of these microphone positions are less deep sampled than others. Did you notice when I hit it, dug in, it sort of barks a bit and it goes right to the bark. I don't know, a little bit disappointing. Um, these close mics are interesting and then the same thing happens with a wide setup. So close mics. lovely pencil uh, small diaphragms and then the wide version of same um, on the ground it's good for rock and roll now we can make mixes and that is exciting for instance let's take the ground mics there they are they're illuminated in pink and mix them with um, the browners. Now this should be interesting. That's like getting a nice bright sound from the gra ground mics and then some width and depth from the browners. And we can hop over to the mixer and, you know, deal with our volumes and our panning and even detune them. That's an interesting idea. Let's detune the, the mic, the ground mics a bit. We're going to get a kind of a honky tonk. There's certainly some utility to that. And you probably noticed there were um, other tabs up here. There's some interesting creative things. Let's just see what we get out of Flutter Maniac. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe not. Now, I wonder if I can save my own presets. I haven't really tried it yet, but uh, one would certainly hope so. You know, Meldus got um, a a long history, and they had a package of free um, effects that I used, I don't know, with my students a decade ago or so. I think that's true. And um, the M Sound Factory uh, play, playback machine is loaded with a bunch of different sounds, plus you can purchase in packs. Right now, the um, Meldway Grand is on sale at like f less than $50 American. And it's a pretty darn good deal if you haven't got a deep sampled piano in your library already with lots of different mic positions. There's some quirky things about it, but it's a deal right now. And uh, the price is gonna go up, so don't wait. Well, it was fun to review this interesting instrument. 
I hope it's been useful. Um, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.